You're listening to the Packernet Podcast Network. It's time to talk about the Green Bay Packers. Rodgers in trouble. It's going to get there. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in it? In the end zone. It is caught for the win. Richard Rodgers with a walk-off touchdown. A game ender for the Packers. Five years ago today. That's insane to me that that was already five years ago. Tight end Richard Rodgers, who caught that Hail Mary pass from Aaron Rodgers, of course, just last week, caught a Hail Mary from Carson Wentz for the Philadelphia Eagles, who the Packers will, of course, be going up against this Sunday. Unfortunately for Richard and Wentz, it was not enough in that case to win the game, as he did in the Motown Miracle. Last year, in Week 4, Wentz and the Eagles were able to hand Matt LaFleur his first ever head coaching loss. The Eagles that are coming to Lambeau this Sunday are not the same team they were last year but their toothless offense does feature one very familiar face. Wide receiver Travis Fulgham is a guy I talked about quite a bit on this podcast when he was added to the Packers roster back in training camp. Now, he didn't stick around very long and was shipped off and picked up by Philadelphia, and unfortunately, the Packers seem to have really missed out on the kid. He has been one of the very best receivers the Eagles have. A couple months ago, Matt LaFleur commented on the success that Fulgham has seen this season and remarked that in a year with preseason games they probably would not have missed out on Fulgham's talent. Unfortunately, only having practice made it very difficult for Travis to show what he was made of. After the Colts game, Aaron Rodgers made comments about being very encouraged about the state of the team and the direction he saw them heading. Look no further than the Bears game for signs that he's onto something. All three phases of the Packers team played much better than they have been and showed great energy and focus. And don't trust the naked eye test when it comes to the defense. With more than a three-score lead... The soft zone defense that Patton called at the end of the game, like it or not, did exactly what it was intended to do. End the game quickly, with no injuries, and without giving up the lead. And the Packers are getting healthier as well. Corey Lindsley is expected to miss three to six weeks, but aside from him, only Mercedes Lewis is not practicing. Now you've heard from me every week that Mercedes not practicing on Wednesday doesn't mean anything. He's usually given veteran rest. However, this week he didn't practice on Thursday. That is a little different. He's being held out due to a knee injury. Linebacker Chris Barnes was reactivated from the COVID-19 reserve list. Running back A.J. Dillon is expected to follow soon. Dillon was at practice but did not participate. He was on the sidelines, keeping distance from all the other players. Wide receiver Tavon Austin has officially been added to the Packers roster and has been practicing with them. Devontae Adams told reporters an interesting story, saying Randall Cobb actually called him to let him know Tavon Austin was coming in for a workout. Cobb and Austin are apparently good friends. Devontae Adams said he can tell Austin will be a very good fit in the locker room because of his upbeat personality. Unsurprisingly, Darius Shepard was cut. The difference in Tavon and Darius' salaries means the Packers will have to pay about $110,000 in cash to replace Shepard with Austin. However, due to veteran minimum rules, the hit against the salary cap is only $22,059. When they sent Malik Taylor out to return punts instead of Shepard, You knew it was over, and $22,000 is a very small price to pay to upgrade the returner position. According to 538.com, the Green Bay Packers have a greater than 99% chance of reaching the postseason. Their chances of winning the NFC North is 97%, making this the first time since 2014 that any team in the NFC North has won the division in back-to-back years. Packers, of course, won four straight after being a wild card in 2010 and going on to win the Super Bowl. They won 2011, 12, 13, and 14. In case you're wondering, the Detroit Lions have never won the division title for the NFC North. In 1999, back when it was the NFC Central, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are the most recent team besides the Vikings, Bears, or Packers to win the Lions division. Despite a few wildcard playoff appearances, the last time the Lions won the division was 1993. That does it for today. I'll be right back here tomorrow with another Daily Cheese episode. For a deeper dive on the Green Bay Packers, make sure you're subscribed to the Packernet Podcast, hosted by Ryan Schlipp, the Pack Daddy. Keep up on all Green Bay Packers news by going to packernet.com and join the Packernet Podcast group on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at JJ Leahy and send in questions for this show. 
My name is JJ Leahy, and this has been The Daily Cheese, your Green Bay Packers news update.